today, in the introductory message or in part one of the series on spiritual realities, I want to just talk to us about the, uh, the, the unseen realm. The Bible says in John 4, verse 24, that, uh, you know, that God is spirit. God is a spirit being. Uh, about God, the Bible tells us that God is an eternal self-existent being. Isaiah 57 verse 15 says that God inhabits eternity. He dwells in eternity. He dwells in this realm that's outside of time. So in that unseen realm, in that spiritual realm, time is immaterial. This spiritual realm is not just some mystical, imaginary uh, construct. It is real. And heaven is a real place. When we talk about the unseen realm, we're not talking about some realm that is far, far distant away. But when we're talking about the unseen realm, uh, this is a realm that just overlaps the natural realm. We can therefore deduce that everything in the natural world is subject to the spiritual. The spiritual world is superior to the natural world. The natural realm, we could say it like this, the natural realm is, is subservient to the spiritual realm. So everything in the natural is subject to the spiritual because the natural came out of the spiritual. Now, another important thing that I want to mention here is this, that there are specific ways to operate in the two realms. Let's talk a little bit about the beings in two realms. The Bible makes it clear that there are angelic beings. Uh, angels were created by God. Uh, the Bible reveals to us. Now, the Bible also makes it clear that at some point in time past, some of these angels rebelled against God. So there is God, there are these angels who are faithful to him, uh, assignment angels and adoration angels, and there are these angels, fallen angels, who have been dismissed from the presence of God, disembodied spirits. Man is very uniquely designed, and we must understand that that man is a spirit, soul, and a body. So man has the capacity to operate in the spiritual realm and in the natural realm. And so the overlap of the spiritual with the natural becomes very important to us because we are designed to operate in both realms. Man is capable of relationship in both realms. That means uh, we are capable of natural rela human relationships with people, but we are also designed for relationship in the spirit realm. And relationship becomes the channel through which spiritual influence flows. That means as, I, as you and I relate to God and grow in our relationship with God, then through that relationship, God begins to work in our lives. He begins to work in and, and the matters and affairs of our lives. Similarly, there are those people who open themselves up to the dark side, to Satan and his demons, and they, they begin to experience the operation of, of demonic spirits in their lives. So man is here in this realm, the natural realm, that is overlapped by the spiritual realm. Three important things on our lives. First of all, your spirit, Spiritual life is important. You are a spiritual being. You have a soul, your mind, your intellect. You also have a body. Just as you and I may take time and effort to develop our soul and our body, which is good and we must, we should also make the effort to develop our spiritual being. Second, what I want to bring to bear on our hearts is our relationship with God. Relationship is very important as far as this duality of existence is concerned. Just as we can build relationships in the natural, we also build relationship in the spiritual. And our relationship with God is so important because it is through that relationship that God is, going, is able to work in us and through us to affect things in our natural realm. Third thing I want us to bear, bring to bear upon us is this, that we must develop the ability to discern so that we can make the right decisions. That means we discern what is spiritual, what is natural. Where do the two meet? Uh, what actions must I take? Uh, and we need the ability to operate in both worlds. Sometimes to bring about a change in the natural, you've got to start in the spiritual.